So this morning I had some fresh raspberries. Um, they're usually pretty expensive so I don't have them all the time but I was really craving raspberries and these ones were so sweet and tasty. And then after that I had some porridge so I just mashed up a banana. This is pretty much how I do my porridge every time I have porridge which is most mornings and I just mash that up and then I pour the quick oats over the top and then I mash it up all together again and then I pour some water just not boiling just from the tap and um, then I cover that with um, a glass plate and then I put that in the microwave for two minutes and then once that's done I'll add whatever toppings I'm feeling that day so today I had some almond butter Uh, tonight I'm cooking a vegetable soup and this is one of my favorite soups to cook. Um, it's just got sweet potato which I've just diced up and some carrot which I've shredded. I really like having shredded carrot in soups. I find having like chunks of carrot in soup not that appetizing. And then I've just got some purple cabbage here, some dill. I really love dill in soup. I know what it is, it's really nice flavor. Um, these are the vegetable stock cubes I use, so they're the mazel Meso, however you pronounce that brand, and I just use one cube. Sometimes I'll taste it and I'll use another cube as well. Um, and then I got this from iHerb. This is a um, like a kind of salt, garlic, spice sort of blend, and I'll add a little bit of that. A, a tablespoon of tomato paste. Um, this is buckwheat, so I really love adding um, like lentils or um, like a type of protein in the soup. So I like to pre-cook buckwheat and um, yeah, it's really easy to cook. I just put it in the pressure cooker and yeah, it just cooks really well and I'll probably add like a cup of that to the soup and it kind of bulks it up. And buckwheat's super good for you. It's got like heaps of vitamins and minerals and protein and all of that. And these are just, um, this is just one onion diced and uh, like three cloves of garlic. I love garlic in soup as well. So I'll do all of this in my pressure cooker. You can do it over the stove as well, but I just like to do it in the pressure cooker. So what I like to do is I like to fry or saute the onions in some oil. So maybe like a tablespoon of oil and then um, the onions and the garlic. And then once they're translucent, then I'll add pretty much all the veggies and then I'll cook those for a couple of minutes and then um, after that I'll add the stock cube and the seasoning, tomato paste, the dill um, and I'll let all of that cook together with um, enough boiling water to just cover the top of the, um, the pot and then I'll add the buckwheat right at the end so I'll add it when it finishes and I'll kind of just like add a scoop or a couple of scoops in. I don't add it while it's cooking because it'll go really really soft and I don't want it to go any softer than it already is. So yeah, that's going to be my dinner or lunch. Alright, so this is the finished vegetable soup. I'm going to have this for my lunch. And I've just got some avocado toast with this. And yeah, I'm really hungry. So I'm going to start eating now. So I'm really lucky because I got a bit spoiled over Easter. I got these from um, my dad. And this one as well from my dad. I haven't tried this egg yet. This type of chocolate egg. But obviously it's vegan. And um, there's no pla plastic packaging, which is really cool. So I'm not sure, maybe I'll have this one. I got this one from my grandma. Um, this one is dark chocolate, so this one's vegan. This lint chocolate is really good as well. And then I got this one from my mom. And I've already um, opened this one. This is, I had this one last year and it's really good. It comes with these um, little chocolate drops. They're amazing, they're so tasty. Um, so yeah, that's a really good brand. So if people are ever looking for um, vegan Easter eggs, they're, they're around. They're, um, they're actually becoming more and more popular. So this brand Move Free is really good. The chocolate is amazing. Haven't tried this one, but this is a European company and the European vegan chocolate is always really good. Um, the Lint Chocolate Bunny, that's vegan. The dark chocolate one and these um, are little dark chocolate eggs. So yeah, there's, um, there's lots of um, vegan options for Easter. So I think I'll probably just finish these since I've already opened them and maybe have some of the small ones for my dessert tonight. So I'm about to make myself a smoothie now. I'm about to go to my pole dancing class. So I do pole dancing as part of my fitness. That's my, pretty much the sport that I do. Um, and it is a really big workout. So I really like to make sure that I have um, a smoothie before I go. And this is what I like to put in my smoothie. So I've got about a cup of um, spinach there. 
Um, I'm using a protein powder at the moment. This is the one I'm using. It's called Sun Warrior Classic Organic Natural Protein. Um, Alex bought this for himself and he says it's amazing. I don't usually use protein powder at all, but I'm just kind of trying it out because he's gotten it. Um, you don't need protein powder if you're vegan. That's a common misconception. It's just, um, I don't know, it's one of those novelties that if it's in the house, then you know I'll use it. So I've been trying it out and I don't really see much of a change, but we'll see. Um, so I'll use like maybe half a scoop of that in there as well. It kind of, I don't really like protein powder. This texture is okay, but I've tried some in the past, just, you know, freebies and stuff. And it's just, it tastes super grainy. Um, and I just, I don't like the consistency. So then I'll add a tablespoon of cacao powder. This is like my addiction. I'm always having cacao powder and everything. I'd actually add some more. I have hot chocolates like two times a day. And if I have smoothies, it'll always be chocolate flavored. <laughs> um, then I'll add some frozen bananas. So I'll add two of those. Um, and I've got some frozen blueberries here. So I'll add some of those. Um, and then to finish it all off, I use oat milk. Because oat milk makes it super creamy. So for dinner tonight I'm cooking stuffed capsicum and this is a really tasty meal and it's super easy to make. And all you'll need for this is uh, two grated carrots. I'm instead of mincemeat I use um, textured vegetable soy protein and this is the brand that I use. It's the um, Lotus textured soy protein um, and it doesn't have anything in it other than soy protein. There's no flavors or colors or anything and I've just got that um, soaking in some boiling water. Um, and I'll have all the ingredients as well in the description so you can um, check those out if you want to recreate this meal. Um, you'll also need a can of um, peeled tomatoes or tin tomatoes, um, some cooked rice already, so one cup of um, medium green white rice uh, pre-cooked and then some paprika, some onion powder. I've actually run out of onions which is really annoying because this dish is um, amazing with onions, but if you don't have onions, fear not, you can still make this dish with onion <laughs> flavoring. And then I've just got some herbs here, so there's like dill in there and um, some other like uh, other herbs like parsley and stuff. And then there's uh, a stock cube, some garlic, I've got uh, two and a bit, those are like really tiny ones. And then the stuffed capsicums. So um, these ones are quite small. Uh, so yeah, I'll be cutting the top off those and then stuffing them with everything and oh and also two grated carrots So first I'm just going to fry the garlic and carrot in a little bit of olive oil. So there's like one tablespoon there So during this time as well you'll cut up half an onion if you have it and I'll dice that up finely and cook that with the carrot and the garlic as well. Um, and then you put that into a bowl with the cooked rice and all of the dried herbs, so the um, mixed herbs and the onion powder and the uh, Hungarian paprika and salt and pepper. Then you're going to add the textured soy protein after you've drained the water and it's nice and soft. And then you're going to use your hands to mix it all together. Then once it's all mixed you can give it a taste and adjust for seasoning and you can eat this raw, yes, because it's vegan. Um, <laughs> and then with your capsicums you're going to cut off the top of it really carefully just with a sharp knife. And you're going to remove all the insides, so the membrane and the seeds and everything. Yeah. 
So once you've cut all the tops off them, then you can start stuffing them with your rice mixture. Then put them into a saucepan and I poured over the tin tomatoes. I blended the tin tomatoes so they were a little bit thinner and added um, just a little bit of water. And then I added the stock, uh, so the stock cube with about two cups of water. So just enough to uh, cover the capsicums maybe uh, three quarters of the way or halfway. You don't want to cover them with water completely because you want the sauce to kind of thicken up. And then I added a lid and I cooked this for about an hour. All right, so this is the finished dinner. It's um, it's much softer, obviously, because it's been cooking for about an hour. But um, yeah, it looks really good, smells amazing, and can't wait to dig in and taste it. I also um, just steamed some broccoli to have on the side because I've got to get those greens in. And this is what I'm going to have for dessert. So I've just got some leftover chocolate Easter egg. This is a sesame seed um, sugar snack thing. I don't know what else to call it. And I've just got a um, tea here. It's so, a white tea and blueberry. And yeah, that's what I'm having for my dessert.